Algebra, here we are, back again. Chapter 4, Section 3, Writing Equations of Parallel Lines and Perpendicular Lines. Parallel Lines, okay, so here we have two lines that are parallel. Let's check to see what we can find out about them. Uh, now, if you compare these two lines and what we've been doing the last few days, uh, or last few lessons, if you look at the slope of this line, very easy to read, we go up to over 1. So the slope of that 2 is up 2 over 1, which gives it a slope of m equals 2 over 1. If I'm to read this one here, I go up 2 over 1. Well, look at that. The slope of this line is also two, up 2 over 1. So if they are parallel, that means their slopes are the same. How cool is that? Now, I just found that reading it off the graph. But if you just have the coordinates like we're given here, these coordinates, I could find it from that, say, well, from negative 2 to 4, I've got to add 6. From negative 2 to 1, I've got to add 3. So wait a minute, that's not 2. That's 6 over 3, you say. But, ah, 6 divided by 3, that's 2. Or 2 over 1 in simplified form. Always simplify your fractions. All right, let's see here. From 0 to 2, we go up 2. From 1 to 2, we go up 1. And that gives us 2 over 1. And therefore, we have the same slope. So from two points given on those lines, you can find that they're parallel. Or if you're given an equation, and that equation is in slope-intercept form, well, then we can find that slope. Say here the slope is 2. And in this one, the slope is 2, so these two have the same slope, which means they must be parallel. Very nice. Okay. Identifying parallel lines. So here we have three lines. They kind of look like they might be parallel. So let's check to see. There are several ways. We can either find the slopes from the points, or since they're on such a nice graph, we can just count it. This goes down 1. So minus 1, and then over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So over 5, that's the slope of line A. Line B, down 1, okay, so minus 1, okay, that looks the same, over 1, 2, 3, 4, ooh, over 4. So these two are not parallel, A and B. What about C? Down 1, okay, we're starting out nicely, minus 1, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 5. So A, line A, is parallel to line C, because they have the same slope. Write an equation of the line that passes through this point and is parallel to this line. Well, this line has a slope of 2. So a parallel slope to that, m would also equal 2. Going through this point here, we can use point-slope form or slope-intercept form. All right, um, let's see. I'll use slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b plus b. We know the slope is 2, so we'll put 2 in for the slope. We know that x is 5, so we'll put 5 in for x. We know that y is negative 4, so let's put negative 4 there. So that gives me negative 4 is equal to 10 plus b. And then subtract 10 from each side. We get negative 14 is equal to b. So therefore, y is equal to 2x minus 14. This is a parallel line. They have the same slopes to this one, and it goes through point 5 and negative 4. I can test that. Plug that in. Say plug in 5 here. I get 10 minus 14 is negative 4, and y is negative 4, so that is correct. All right. If we're looking at these two lines, this is indicated that they are perpendicular. So let's check what their slopes are. We know from the first one, we've already done this one, that its slope is up 2 over 1. 
Okay, so we know that one's up 2 over 1. We've done it various ways. We've got the equation here. We did it with the coordinates or just reading it off the graph. All right. This line here, if I go from this point to that point, I'd go down 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So down 2 over 4. Always simplify your fractions. So that is negative 1 over 2. Okay, I know that these two are perpendicular, so now I'm going to look at these slopes and compare them. I could al also check that from here, say, from 3 to 1 is down 2, from negative 2 to 4 is up 4, and that simplifies to negative 1 over 2. Notice that these two are very similar. We have a 2 and a 1. But this one's positive, this one's negative, and they're upside down. They're flipped. We call those reciprocals. And since their sign is the opposite sign, we call them opposite reciprocals. That's a really fun word. Try to say that, opposite reciprocal. And so you can practice saying that. I've got a little song for you that you can get stuck in your head. It goes, opposite reciprocal, flip and negate. Opposite reciprocal, flip and negate. Opposite reciprocal, flip and negate. Perpendicular slopes, ah uh, yeah. Now go and sing that to your parents. All right, identifying parallel and perpendicular lines. Determine which of the lines, if any, are parallel or perpendicular. All right, here we know the slope is 4. That's always the first thing you want to do is determine the slope if we're looking at parallel or perpendicular lines. Here, we don't know what the slope is. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in slope-intercept form. That means bring the x to the other side, so subtract x from each side. That cancels out. We have 4y is equal to, you can't subtract these because they're unlike terms, so negative x plus 3, and now we have to divide by 4. Okay, divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. That cancels this out. y is equal to negative x divided by 4 plus 3. Okay, so what's my slope here? I can't see what the coefficient to x is. Well, x divided by 4 is the same as 1 fourth x. Because if you back up here, if a variable doesn't have a coefficient, you can put a 1 in front of it. So 1 over 4 is 1 fourth. There you go. So now we know that slope is negative 1 fourth. And in this last equation here, we're again wanting to get y by itself, so we're going to add 2x to each side. Add 2x here. Can't combine the 16 and the 2, so I'm going to write them next to each other. Negative 8y is equal to 2x plus 16, divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8, all right, boom, boom, and we get y is equal to negative 2 eighths x minus 16 divided by 8 is 2. Well, 2 eighths doesn't compare to any of these, but... Always simplify your fractions. So y is equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 2. So line A is perpendicular to line B. Line A is perpendicular to line C. And line B is parallel to line C. All right? Here we have opposite reciprocals. So these are perpendicular, and then these two slopes are the same, so those two lines are the same. There we go. All right, here's a, a situation. We have the Coast Guard helicopters on search and rescue crew shown right here. Uh, the shortest flight path to the shoreline is one that is perpendicular to a shoreline. So fastest, directest path between a point and a line is a perpendicular line. So write an equation that represents this path here to make a perpendicular line. Okay, so we haven't been given that line, but we've been given this one, so we want one perpendicular to this. All right, so we want to find the slope of this. 
And that means find two points, uh, coordinates, where it goes exactly through a coordinate, like right here. And let's see, anywhere else? Right about here. Okay, so that slope is down. 3 over 6, which means there's one somewhere in between right there also. Okay, so I have a slope of negative 3 over 6. So a perpendicular slope to that would be, and this can be simplified, always simplify your slopes, m is negative 1 half. So a perpendicular slope to that, m equals 2. All right, so now I want a slope with 2 that goes through this point. I'll use point-slope form this time. All right, move this out of the way. Shmoop. Okay, point-slope form, y minus 14, uh, my, y minus 4, sorry, the y value is equal to, slope is 2, times x minus 14. Okay, you could do slope-intercept form, too, if you prefer that one. Now, this way you've at least seen both again. 2x minus 28, y minus 4, and then add 4 to each side, and y is equal to 2x minus 24. And there we go. Shooby doo wah, good times in algebra, oh yeah. Check back next time for another fun lesson.